Celebrating Sanctuary presents Emerging Artist Showcase. Celebrating Sanctuary embarked on a new project in 2020 involving emerging artists from refugee and migrant backgrounds. Each emerging artist has received support from a mentor to help them develop their own project. Due to restrictions and lockdowns, some projects have been delayed, but we have a sample of work to share with you from five emerging artists. Sam Akawi, Lazo Baston, Farisai Zemwa, Elahe Nadali and Kia Aria. They have each produced very different kinds of work, all of which is personal to them and their experiences. We are planning a live presentation and exhibition of work on July the 24th at Centrala in Digbeth. We hope you enjoy this exciting series of presentations. My name is Ella. I'm from Iran. I'm working on a stop motion that deals with war and its conditions and its destructive effect on the lives of ordinary people. But there is a one strange and interesting thing about humans that is seeing and experiencing the tragedy of losing family, friends, or losing their home and jobs. It's still things that give them hope and they can go on living. This is a summary of my project story. And now about my experience in a stop motion. I studied media at college. This is my first experience with a stop motion animation. Thanks to Rachel for introducing meaning and Chris. They helped me with the project. I paint on cardboard and canvas. And after photography of my subject, I will work on them on NPC with the Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects.
Hello, this is Sama Kawi. I'm Iraqi, Iraqi artist. I came to UK uh, three years ago and I started my art two years ago. And I'm uh, so proud and so happy to be part of uh, the project, which is called uh, Emerging Artist. And it's uh, sponsored by Birmingham Celebrating Century. And it's all about supporting the immigrant artists and uh, lead them the, the way uh, to do their art in emerging and uh, mixing the cultures through art. And this is one of my arts. I hope you like it. This is called Baghdad, the city I came from. It's the capital of Iraq. This is written in Arabic language, Baghdad. I did it in Archie way, which is implement uh, the structure or the architect of my city, which is called Shanashil. It is, it's very traditional thing. And this is mosque dome. And this is called Mashhouf. It's in the south of Iraq. It's very famous there. And of course, our icon is the date uh, tree. So uh, this is show uh, how could we uh, merge and mix the, uh, the cultures through art and show people uh, some part of my country and my tradition. And this is one of my art. It's uh, showing uh, the journey of immigration, uh, the journey from uh, east to west, uh, from dark to light. And uh, during this journey, there's lots of confusion, struggling, and uh, lots of feelings that showed here. And um, everyone uh, left or immigrant from east to west, uh, he left something behind, uh, family, kids, work, home. So all these things will be stuck in his uh, heart and soul until he get the light. And this is a good opportunity for his kids or her kids uh, for the future. So um, this is my art. One thing of uh, the things I've learned with this project is how to use and merge uh, different techniques in one painting. And this is one of them. I call it Bigfoot. And uh, there's meaning behind. I get it from uh, Cambridge Dictionary. Uh, Bigfoot, it's mean uh, the person or someone need for attention and he solved problem or uh, solve issue and he feel powerful and strong. So it's all about wisdom. That's why I use different techniques and colors and uh, the structures behind uh, and to make it uh, uh, give the meaning of deep and uh, old and wisdom. Greetings everyone and welcome to my part of the upcoming artist exhibition. My name is Farisa Zema. I'm Zimbabwean by origin, a migrant in the United Kingdom. I'm excited to be exhibiting a timeline of creativity that actually facilitated my recovery and my self-discovery journey. I am hoping that by following my exhibition, you will be inspired to also go on your own self-discovery journey creatively so, and be excited by the results. Welcome and enjoy. Thank you. Welcome to my creative storytelling exhibition. I'm proud to be showcasing the creative activities that I introduced myself to to cope with several lockdowns that I've gone through in the last few years. My own vision of what social prescribing is and stands for. I survived loneliness, anxiety, fear, and depression by being creative, poetic, and making myself vulnerable through storytelling. In the process, I discovered talents and skills I didn't even know I possessed. And to top it up, 
I made friends and associates that I have been collaborating with to facilitate my healing and transformation. To find motivation in tough times, you need to know what your anchor is. And your anchor is that thing or activity or person that always encourages you to keep going and to never give up. My anchor was mainly my son. Social prescribing activities are the activities that you engage in in order to prevent mental health deterioration or prevent mental health illness. For me, it has been cooking, baking, jewelry making, sewing, and social engagement virtually. The expression of love verbally physically virtually was very important and is very important on my journey i do hope you have enjoyed going on this virtual exhibition and if you're curious about the real meaning and impact of social prescribing and would like to tap into its benefits then I invite you to connect with me and let's revolutionize the art of surviving and thriving creatively. Above all, I sincerely hope this helps many realize that the power to heal and to progress is mostly in us. If, not, if only we would master the confidence to look within creatively with passion to overcome whatever trials and tribulations that we may face. Having experienced abuse in my younger adulthood, I went through a series of reactive or responsive behavior that was self-sabotaging and culminated into a vicious car accident a few years ago. This is when I started the self-discovery journey and halfway through it I was noticed and was invited to join in this upcoming artist exhibition where I'm humbled to demonstrate how creative art, writing, speaking, poetry helped facilitate my recovery from physical injuries, emotional injuries, and into rediscovering my special creative skills, that's jewelry making, sewing, baking, and group uh, craft workshop presentations. I hope you are enjoying this exhibition so far. The pictures that you're seeing show the stuff that I have made, the stuff that I have taught other people in groups in my community to make is a form of their own self-discovery and is also a form of therapy while going through this difficult time with the pandemic of isolation. Thank you. Communicate. Communication is a combination of words spoken and those not spoken, actions displayed or avoided, body language presented or that hidden. What you say can reveal a lot of what you don't say. What you do highlight what you're missing out. And above all, body language can reveal an internal battle you are fighting within, trying to fit in what you think is expected. The prayer for a mindset coach. 
Father in heaven, I pray that you rid us of rigid mindsets that limit and instill in us mind frames that are explorative, adaptable, and progressive. Pack up your negative thoughts. What are you choosing to hold on to in your mind? You can always pack up all the unnecessary and negative thoughts and feelings in your mind. Pack away and put it out of your mind. You then have space to create something new and positive. Be that one person that helps someone revisit the idea of giving up simply by telling your story of survival, resilience, and determination. Wake up to your purpose. Wake up and say bye-bye to anything that does not serve your purpose and embrace your dreams. The theme to my exhibition is social prescribing. Social prescribing is that pathway of recovery that takes you away from the medical route, the drugs and medication route, the intrusive route, and takes you into the community where you tap into what is available around you to creatively help yourself recover and heal. I hope you find my exhibition intriguing enough to be interested in knowing what social prescribing is all about. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pia. My project is about the Iranian LGBTQ community outside of Iran. I want to talk about the living condition outside of Iran. These people are not accepted in Iran and both the government and some Iranians are harassing these people and Iran has a lot of homophobia. Unfortunately, gay boys in Iran may be sentenced to death or they tend with deaths by their families and even killed by their families, like Alienism, who was recently killed by his family. I have to talk to some of them and I'm going to interview them. Some of them do not agree that their face or voice is clear and they only tell me a story. And another person is the narrator of their story. I studied media in college. I met Benjamin through Rachel, who is going to help me. He has given me good advice that I hope I can do in my project. I hope I can help these people with this project. Thank you so much. سیبری یادکانی چاوکانم داده خم لحوا دا خوم دا جولانم ابا رشکینن کم لبا دا را دا کات لخوی دالد لول دا خوات و کبید بونینن کم با کولان دا با مالان دا با مزگو تونان و خانکان دا دا گرید منالم را چلکید من عليم رادة شلكت واي من چن بيري چايقا كم كدستي كي بيرو لرزوب بم داده بيري لتناني تيري ساوري سورو گرمه كتاو بيري پاكر نوي بلوري و چراني هميشه لدست مخزان دكوتن دشكان من بيري چاو دخست نكم لبردمي تو دا My name is Lazo Bastan. I'm from Kedisan and I have been living in Birmingham 
since 2007. Through the Emerging Artist uh, project, I wanted to celebrate the memories of my grandmother. She was at the heart of our family and community. She was resilient in all her effort to provide a safe, nurturing and caring environment, not only for her family, but for every woman and children that needed her in our neighborhood. My grandmother provided me with a strong foundation that I carry with me today and forever. She taught me we are strong women, no matter color, race, religion or ability, and we can make a change. So thank you for the opportunity Emerging Artists Project provided us with. Thank you. Silhouette of memories, closing my eyes and dance with the wind. The black shovel of my Nana runs away, wraps around her body, twirls and falls. The scent of my granny wanders in the alleys and the houses and the mosques and the bakeries. It awakens my, the infancy in me. How I yearn for a cup of tea from shaky old hands. How much I yearn for a piece of fruity bread, for red burgle and cracked wheat. I yearn for cleaning the lantern glass, which used to slip away from my hands and shudder. I yearn for the moment I used to close my eyes before you. So Lazo, now we're coming to the end of our emerging artists with um, Celebrating Sanctuary. What are your thoughts? Wow, I don't know what to say. Such a nice and fresh journey. Um, experiencing um, not only the artistic side of things, but also learning, um, which was really it was quite in-depth and in the same time very personal. So yeah, I enjoyed the journey. Such a nice experience. Yeah. I would say from my um, experience of meeting you and working with you, it's been it's been really lovely for me as well because um, having conversations with you about your creative journey and how you're able to think about your life experience and your creative experience and bringing that into your artwork for the exhibition. That um, really made me start thinking about my arts practice as well. So I've, um, I've got as much out of it, I hope, as you have, because oh, I've been able to think about myself as, a, as an arts practitioner as well. Your advice and guidance in terms of how um, art sometimes works, because I'm not an artist in the sense that I haven't I haven't had a long experience, to be honest. Although my, I grew up with people around me who are artists um, and uh, have to work a lot with photography and paint and all that. But for me, discovering this part of me was um, nice. And you know, there's part of us that Sometimes it's scary to discover in the first place. It's a bit shocking because you're not aware of that part you have. So, yes, thank you for guiding me and uh, informing me about uh, art in general. So, uh, meeting you was a great pleasure. So, thank you for that. That's lovely, Lassa. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the very best in your creative career as an artist because you are an artist. Thank you.